Welcome to 5 Minutes with Andy. Once a month, Virtual Inc.'s CEO, Andy Freed, will be offering you tips, tricks, and insights into leadership, management, and business skills. In this episode, Andy discusses going back to the office, a TED Talk, and how to be flexible. To tell you more, here's Andy Freed. Hello, everybody. Um, wanted to talk a little bit about how things have changed in the last few years and how we're getting back to normal and how we're getting back to the office and getting back to being together. It was 850 days ago that the world changed and people started going home. And while people started going home, people didn't change. The basis for people connecting remains the same. It remains building trust and building relationships. And I will say, while I've done some of that over Zoom and Teams and so many other things over the last few years, really the way that you build trust and relationships is being together. You know, that's why it's been so important for us at Virtual to look for opportunities to be together. And while our name is Virtual, uh, the basis of what we do with our team, with our clients, remains trust and relationships. So how do we get together? So. Last week, we flew the whole company together and you know, got together just on a beautiful summer afternoon uh, just to play some games and uh, you know, have a picnic. On one hand, that's a day uh, off work. On the other hand, I will say that's some of the most important time we can spend as a company because I'll go back to the same thing. Trust and relationships. It's the basis of servant leadership. It's the basics of how things work together. It's why getting people back to the office is a priority for so many leaders that are out there, because there is a sense that while flexibility is important, it's also important that people are able to collaborate, that they're able to work creatively, that they're able to connect with one another, and that they understand one another. And I'll say that leaders need to understand right now that flexibility is the watchword of the day and important to everybody. So it's not about forcing folks to do things. It's not about um, you know, creating mandates, but it's how do you create an environment where people understand the value of coming together and understand the value of where that's going? You know, that's why for virtual, as we grow and as we continue to grow, and you know, just this week we announced that we're continuing to grow with the addition of uh, you know, two new companies to our family, one based in uh, Ottawa, one based in Boston. But as we do that, one of the first steps is how do you get to know people? Because while a lot has changed in the last two years, one thing has stayed the same. You know, people are people and, you know, people are inherently social. And while we all have spent a lot of time in our respective attics and talking to our cameras and in our little Zoom boxes, Really, what makes people you know get together is that connection. You know, I encourage folks to you know watch TED talks of different kinds. And you know, last week I shared with with the team that was my favorite talk from uh, you know TED in 2022. It was an artist by the name of Jr. talking about the work that he did in a prison. And when he talks about the connection that he made, and I won't spoil the entire uh, you know the entire TED talk, but I encourage you to check out Jr.'s latest latest talk on TED. But he talks about the big moment being when he walked in and he actually shook people's hands. Well, technology is great. There's so many things you can do with it. And I love that I can talk to people from my attic right now. But I'll tell you one thing they haven't figured out is how I can shake anybody's hands. So what I encourage leaders and encourage folks to remember right now is it's great to be home. It's great to be flexible. It's great to have a, an environment where you can work from anywhere. But the fundamental currency of so many companies is the same. It's trust and relationships. And thinking about how you build that and thinking about how you create that, sometimes that means leaving your attic. Sometimes that means going to a picnic. At Virtual, we've done all of those things and more. And I'm proud of how it's brought us together as a team. Thanks for listening today.